I've been using the Sony FX3 for over a year now and this is how I set up my camera. These are some of my custom buttons and this is my quick menu setup as well. On the first main menu, I've got the peaking levels, metering mode, zebra levels, fog shooting settings and um, the select light options. I've also got custom key dial sets there as well and I've got the lens focal length as well for stabilization. For log shooting, I use Cine EI and the color gamut is S Gamut 3, Cine S Log 3. I just find that the Cine version of this looks really nice with the type of footage I take. It really keeps the detail within the shadows and retains a lot of detail in the highlights too without being completely blown out. The select LUT I use is the Phantom RE Neutral LUT got two versions just the standard neutral and the neutral legacy I've also got the custom key dial sets which allow me to change the custom buttons on the camera I like to keep this in the quick menu setup so I can change these custom buttons depending on what type of um, shoot I'm taking on the day this focal length is just to change the um, focal length for the camera depending on what manual lens I'm using. It's very handy especially if you use the Sony standard stabilization you need to make sure to change the lens focal length as well so you can get the best out of the IBIS. On the second menu I've only got my HDMI outputs and HDMI display. Um, I use external monitor almost all the time just because the monitor on the Sony camera is probably too small for me to be able to expose correctly. On the main menu settings here I've got just the basics, I haven't changed anything. You've got the recording frame rates, you've got the shutter speed, you've got the aperture, you've got your base ISO options there, um, white balance, light option, you can see your camera recording mode as well. I use the XAVC SI DCI 4K and you've also got just your basic audio options there too. On the second main menu I've got a bit more camera options there. I've got my log shooting settings, I use Cine EI, I've got the file setting name that I'm recording in which I like to change depending on each project. Again I've got the steady shot option there on or off. I've got the face eye subject select as well. I've also got another quick menu option here pressing FN and it's pretty much just everything that I need that I can access very quickly. I've got my ISO options here. I've got my file formats that I can change between. Focus area, recording frame rate. I've got my S and Q frame rate as well which I can change. Again I've got my focal length so I can quickly change between lenses. Got silent mode on, on or off if I need. I've purposely put zebras here because I've got a custom option of uh, 90 plus. That's usually to see if anything's overexposed. And I've got custom two, which is around 52. And that just helps me see if people's skins are exposed properly. Again, I've got the steady shot option so I can go in here and I can change the steady shot options to active, standard or off. My custom buttons, I haven't changed too much from the Sony default options. I've got my display here the same, I don't change that. I like to keep it on this one here where they've got the leveler just so I know the camera is straight and on level. I haven't changed with the zebras, again I can toggle on and off. And I've got the peaking too, uh, on and off if I need. The shutter, I did change that to be the steady shot. So if I do need to change between um, stabilization on or off, I can do that really quickly. Got my play button there, that hasn't changed. And I've got this button here, which I changed to face eye priority. So again, I can quickly change that on and off rather than going into the menu settings. I just press off or on, depending on if I'm recording people or just subjects. The, the wheel here is to change the shutter just find that that's an easier place for my thumb to be able to adjust the shutter. This one here is the focus zone and in the middle 
is my LUT options. So I can go and change between LUTs if I need. I live in Australia, so I use PAL. You can go in here to change between NTSC or PAL. So that just means that our frame rates are going to be a little bit different. So that's why I shoot in 25 frames and 50 frames instead of 24 and 60. So you can go into the operational custom options here if you want to change some of your modes, change some of your custom key dial sets. On the uh, top options, I've changed a few things. I've kept white balance at the top. I have changed the ISO to be base ISO switch. That's because I use Cine EI. I can just change between 800 and 12,800. I've also got the focus mode, which just allows me to change between autofocus or menu focus. If I'm using autofocus, I can then use that joystick to move between um, or to select certain areas of, this, of the frame that I want to choose. And then that doesn't change, that's still recording. I have changed this dial here to control the iris. It's really handy for autofocus lenses that I can um, go in and quickly change the iris, open up the lens or close it depending um, on the scene. My monitor display options, I don't change too much. If I am outside, I do make sure that this goes to sunny weather. I want the screen to be as bright as possible so I can see some, so I can actually see the screen in the sun. If I'm inside, I just change that to manual and I make that um, low as possible just to conserve battery. I don't change the quality, I just keep it standard. There's no point making it high, especially if you're using an external monitor. It's just trying to save as much battery as we can. I think the tele lights on the Sony FX3 are really great. It's a good way to see if you're recording or not. I do turn off the front tele light just so I don't get any bounce off any subjects that I'm recording. It's definitely noticeable in low light scenarios or dark scenes where you don't have much light and the camera is actually good enough to pick up that red uh, blinking on subjects or objects around. So I try not to change too much from the default settings that are provided by Sony. Um, I like to keep it pretty simple um, as well and not have too many options available. Uh, the only things I change are the things that I know I use constantly and things that will help speed up the process as well. Hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Let me know what your custom buttons and quick menu setups are. I'd like to try it and, and see how it goes for me. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.